Christina. Yeah, Christina, yeah, I like you. Know. I love Greek ladies. God, oh, they're, they're some beautiful, beautiful girls. Yeah, the fame side of it was never the most important part of my life. I was always to keep it. I was always able to keep it in perspective. Το Superstar βρίσκεται στο Λονδίνο, στη μέκα της μουσικής σκηνής. Ήρθαμε να συναντήσουμε ένα Superstar για να μας δώσει μια αποκλειστική συνέντευξη. Πάμε να το δούμε. Εντάξει! First of all, I would like to thank you very, very much on behalf of uh, Superstar, which is uh, the show that I'm hosting, and uh, on behalf of uh, Star Channel for receiving us today Thank and having us over with the hospitality and all that nice stuff. And uh, I'll go straight into it and, okay. uh, and tell you, and you know. <coughs> well, let me say Yasu. Yasu Greece. Yasu to Christina. Yasu. Christina is my co-host. Christina, hello, Christina. And Christina, Yasu. I like you very much and all that. She, she told me wish you the best and future success here. So first of all, uh, we, I'd like to talk about the 80s. Right. And uh, in the 80s you were, uh, you made a big, big success mm -hmm. in, in the music scene uh, with your sound and uh, your touch, your your signature on it, uh, which went on for many, many years in, in, in the decade. True. Yeah. Then for a while you stopped, and now you have your comeback. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to uh, to stay a little bit on your on your on your plans for now mm -hmm. when you come back. Uh, what is it? Can I, can I just put you straight on something? Yeah, go ahead. Well, the, the, the fact is that, that we didn't have a break. Um, you didn't? <clears throat> not me personally. Uh, the band, uh, we lost two members um, in 85. Andy Taylor and Roger Taylor, the drummer. Andy Taylor played guitar. They both left the group in 85. And it was getting the band back together in 2001. How do you see it now? How is it Duran Duran doing? It's moved now for the future. What are your plans, for example? Well, we've, we've, we've um, we released our first album since the reu reunion, Astronaut, in um, 2004. We've been touring non-stop uh, since that happened, and we were touring before that as well. The project has been on the road for two years, really. Um, and we've finished that project. We finished in, in, in August. We played um, some our last shows of the astronaut tour. We played in Japan. Mm -hmm. Took uh, two weeks off, three weeks off, and we reconvened in um, San Francisco, mm -hmm. where we started to write new songs for the next Duran Duran album. You're having a strong comeback. Yeah, yeah, I would say. Well, we played. I mean, since in in the, in those two years of touring, we played something like. 180 shows. A lot. It's a lot. Lots. It's a lot. It's a real lot. Athens was a success. I know that. Before. I thought that the show that we played in Athens what? was was one of the highlights of the whole two-year tour. In fact, it was, it was probably the highlight. Um, we had we had never played there before. It was a total surprise to us. The reaction we got off of people was just incredible. You had fifteen thousand people. I found. Yeah, fifteen. That's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot. A lot of people. It's a lot of people. I mean, I'd love to have played closer to the city. You would have preferred. I would have closer. liked to have because mm -hmm. I think more people would have come because it is a long way out, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're right. It's quite a distance. As we found on our way back. Yes, as we as we both <laughs> saw on the way back. Yeah, yeah. But um, but but. Uh, it was, uh, uh, it's, it was great. Do you find that you have the same, uh, the same following as you did from the past when you were all together in the 80s? Is it the same kind of thing? Well, people I think some of the people, you know, as much? some of the people are the same. Some of the people are the same. Some of the people are the same people, and they've and they've grown up in the same way we've grown up, you know. Mm. Um, and some of the ones, I mean, so there are faces you see in the crowd who you recognise from, literally from 25 years ago. And, the and the older crowd. And she's speak. and she's still there. <laughs> she's still in the front row. She's still 
she's still screaming her head off, you know. What we've noticed is we get, we get quite a lot of guys come to the concerts now who would have never, who wouldn't have been seen dead at the Duran Duran concert in 1982 because in 1982 we were a girls band. You know, we were oh, right. considered to be a girls band and, um, so and, and, and guys didn't, didn't come and see us. Yeah. Guys came. Guys came to pick girls up. Because if you wanted to, if you wanted to go somewhere which was full of women, <laughs> Duran Duran concert was a pretty good bet, you know. Uh -huh. um, so we had that. But a lot of guys come now, I think, who who maybe bought the records or quietly, like Duran Duran, didn't make a big noise about it. And um, they didn't want to go up front. But now there's nothing. Now that there's no, there's no kind of, there's no anxiety or embarrassment attached to coming to see the band. Right. A lot of people, I think, who a lot of people who didn't see us the first time around, who, who got into the band, who, who come to see us. I don't know if you had it in Greece, but here we had this huge phenomena of the what I call the made-for-TV band. You know, they had Pop Idol here, yeah, here we have so it was a competition members. to to see who was there. And it, was, it was like a like a talent contest. How do you feel talent. about these Pop Idol? Well, I, I, it's I feel that they they served a purpose. They brought a lot of people into me, into in, gave a lot of people interest in music. But it was a lot of grannies and a lot of kids and mums and dads. Is it a, and do you think it's a, it's a misleading issue to put people through this? I think it misled. So I think it. Well, I think what it did was it kind of it, it, it made a lot of people who, for whom it was their main experience of music, particularly children, think that what's important is being famous and being glamorous. And that's giving them that message, isn't it? And all that, and all that, and, and having the approval of a panel of judges, you know, when really what's important is being honest and having, commun you know, communicating your honesty and not giving a about the TV panel, you know, being a little bit subversive and being, that, that's, what, that's what counts to me. Now talking about ladies, did you ever have any difficulties with fans like uh, harassing you in, in, your, in your career or stuff like that? Because we hear of that in rock bands. Mm. Nothing I couldn't deal with. Nothing you couldn't deal with. Normal no. stuff. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a big guy and I'm not really scared of very many things. You know. I mean, if, like, someone, if, some, if, if somebody, if, if, if people hang outside the street, I go and talk to them. Right. And I say, hey, it's not cool. You know, right. this is my home. I live here. And, it's it, it's my one refuge. I don't want to be. I don't want to have an audience every time I go out to buy a pint of milk from the corn right. shop. Do you have any good friends from, from other bands? From other bands? Yeah. Other very big oh things. yeah. Yeah. Well, my best like, friend. Who's your best friend, for example? Well, my best friend was Michael Hutchins. Michael Hutchins. Yeah. Exactly. God bless him. God bless him. Um, who died tragically, oh, very God. not very very sadly. Sadly. Um, and. Yeah, he was my best friend. I would like to to ask you if you are planning to come back to Greece again. Would you like to come back to Greece? Very much, yeah. Yeah, we had such a great time. Um, we came at a great time of year as well. The weather was fantastic. I think it's nice. It was just the beginning of the summer, wasn't it? So it, was, it wasn't too hot. It, it, no, it was a good time. It was, it was, and, it, and, and, uh, and there's always a special mood at the beginning of the summer as well because you have that whole thing stretching ahead of you, don't you? And you kind of think, yeah, oh, it's just the beginning. You have a great following of uh, ladies in Greece. Good. How, how, good. good. Isn't that good? The more the merrier. The more the merrier. Please join in. How do you feel about the Greek ladies? I love Greek ladies. Are they oh, pretty? Some beautiful, beautiful girls. Yeah, really. Yeah, you're very happy to hear that. Oh, we had, we we were we were we were driving around with our tongues hanging out. <laughs> I was going to say I was with you. Yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> can you tell me which group you like? Ah. You want to be best. Okay. Mm, I um, I love that. Uh, Octopus that's been that's marinated and dried in the sun. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I really do like Uzo. And um, but what else do I like? Oh, there's 
there's lots of really good. I like Suvlakia. Suvlakia. I like Retsina. <laughs> but I'm English. <laughs> I don't like it even in England. I like it in, I like it in Greece. I really do. <laughs> planning to go go on for the next few years so to speak well the next what are your plans for a strategy so to speak to be, the, it's, the it's very simple actually I mean it's always pretty simple um, no matter people have these, these big kind of plans and ideas and things and, and basically what you've got to do is get a record on the radio and into people's homes that's what really counts mm -hmm. getting into people's homes um, and it's all changing because the music industry is changing and, and it's not so it's not so pop orientated, you know. People, a lot of kids are listening to rock music. A lot of there's a lot of diversity now, um, and really to, to have impact, you've got to have soul. You've got you to have, have a lot of soul, yeah, a lot of real soul. You can't kind of jigsaw together some glossy, glamorous, shiny piece of music. You know, it's got to have. Yeah. Thank you very much. I personally, having uh, our friendship, as you, as you know each other for quite a while, and again I thank you. You should tell the you should tell the viewers about how we didn't see each other for. for oh yeah, <clears throat> that's a good one. Shall I tell them? Shall I tell them? You tell. Go ahead. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll both say it. Okay. So so Eric and I, Erico and I, we met each other in 1984 on the island of Mykonos, and we were hanging out. Actually, we met we met each other in. Oh. In Cannes before that. Yeah, okay. we met in Cannes. Right. Yeah. And <clears throat> we hooked up again in, in Mykonos. And we uh, took us about uh, 20 or so. We, well, we had, we had, we, you know, we were hooked up with great friends in Mykonos. Great for friends. For about a month we were there. We, we were, had a great time down there. And, um, and then we parted and we said, we said goodbye and we said we'll stay in touch. And we didn't. And we never stayed in touch. Oh. And that's, uh, it was my it fault. It was... I, t I take the blame for that. My fault. Too. It was 20 whole, 20 years, 21 whole years. 21 whole years. Yeah. Before we saw each other again. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yasu, Star Channel. Star Channel.